Hey guys, this is Maliha, and today I want to show you a really cool feature of Canva. So, in front of me, you can see a worksheet. It's a ruled worksheet, and I have several elements here. One of them is the text element, as you can see right over here. Another one is this background element, um, and then a bunch of other elements, line elements, they're sitting on top of the background element. Now, I want to talk about these line elements. They are each of them individual lines, and I have placed them one at a time, and they're all sitting equidistant from one another. Basically, the distance between each consecutive line is exactly the same. And that makes this workbook or worksheet look very professional, and even if you printed it out, it would look really cool. So how do you make that? How do you do that with Canva? Now there's a really cool feature, well a couple of them actually, that can help you achieve that and they are super simple. And let me show you how to do that. I will go back to my Canva homepage, create a new design. I will choose a letter document. You can do it in whichever document you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to choose a letter document. Let's name it test one. And then I'm going to add some lines. So I'll go back to, or not go back to, I'll go to the elements tab and I will choose the line element from under lines and shapes. And this is right here. I will just click it and there you go. And I will move it around. Let's say that I'm trying to create like a ruled page. I'm not going to add any other text or anything, just a simple line element like so. It looks like it's kind of okay. Now it's straight. All right. So when you have a line element, make sure it's not crooked or anything. And then you can add things or change things. Um, you can add text elements or images or whatever you want, but like, again, um, like I was saying, I'm not going to do any of that today because I just want to keep it short. But you can change colors and whatnot. So just for the sake of this tutorial, let's say that I'm going to make it a dark blue line. And I will also change the width of the line to maybe 3, a little thinner than what it is right now. And you can also change, um, you know, what the line is going to look like, like dashed, smaller dash, dots, etc. But anyway, that's not what this is about. So let's look at how to add multiple elements at the same time, equidistant from one another. So after I have added this line, one of the methods, it's pretty simple. Just while, you know, having that element selected, um, you will see that this little rectangular options um, will pop up and one of them is duplicate. So you can click the duplicate button and it adds another line element of the same type. So basically the same width, the same height, the same um, color, etc. But it's not, you know, it's, it's kind of awkwardly positioned. So you have to move it around. And let's say that I want the two lines to be um, kind of, you know, in that distance from one another. And once you have it, select it again and click the duplicate button again. Now, as you can see, it added one other. So you have to position it again. Now, when you're doing that, as you can see, it's, it's difficult to um, exactly position it from the same, with the same distance from the other one. So it's not exactly the same. So again, if I click somewhere else and then click it again and then click duplicate again, it's just, yeah, you have to kind of manually do that every single time. Again, thankfully it does show some guides, um, not for the distance from one another, but you know, the edges uh, it shows like a, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's like a purple dot line that's showing whether it's centered and if the edges of the other elements are matching or not. 
So that's kind of neat. But still, it's not what we are. It's not what we want. We want these to be the same distance. So one of the ways that you can do that is to just add to the best of your ability what you think should be, um, you know, the distance and whatnot. They're not going to be exactly the same, but you just have to make do the best you can, basically. And this is what it looks like. So a few more, let's say, like this one, as you can see, it's kind of difficult to have every single one of them the same distance from one another. So, yeah, like so. Now, once you have that, um, here's what I want you to do. Make sure that the last element is where you want it to be. And the first element is where, it, where you want it to be. So, like so. And then it doesn't really matter where the others are because of what we are about to do. So, like, click your mouse, um, left click it, and then drag it over all of these elements so that they're all selected. And then go to position on the top right corner right here. And then click tidy up. And look closely what happens when I click tidy up. Ready? One two, three. See, as soon as I click tidy up, they rearranged themselves to be equidistant from one another. So basically all of these lines are sitting. So it keeps the first line and the last line elements at the same place where you put them, but everything that's in between reposition themselves and then they kind of tidy themselves up using that tidy up option. So pretty simple, right? So what you have to do is click all of these elements, but before that, make sure that, you know, you have the first element and the last element in the same places, and then click and drag your mouse to select all of them, go to position, and then click tidy up. It's grayed out now because we already use tidy up. So, um, if it were not tight, tidied up already, you would see that, for example, if I change one of them, move it a little bit, and then select all of them again, go to position. Now you can click tidy up again because we changed things and they're not all tidied up. So we can click tidy up again and boom, they're all tidied up. So that's one of the methods and the method that I personally like um, the most. There's another method. So let's get rid of all of that except for the first one. Now here's the other method. So you click that and you use the duplicate button, duplicate option to click another one and then position the best you can. Think about, you know, what the distance you want it to be. And then without clicking anywhere else, while that element is still, still, still selected, uh, make sure that you know you're not clicking anywhere else because then it kind of ruins everything while that element the second element is still selected click this option the duplicate option again and boom it creates an exact replica equidistant from the second one and then while that one is selected click it again just make sure that you're not clicking anywhere else in this document or in this design window and just keep, keep clicking that duplicate, like so. And as you see, this is actually pretty simple. And if you're a power user of Canva, this is a good way to like multi uh, create multiple elements um, of the same style, equidistant from one another. The problem arises, however, is let's say that we have created the first one and then we have created the second one we positioned it and then clicked another one another one another one another one and then we click somewhere else by either by mistake or for something else and then it kind of goes away and then if, if you try to do that again it again asks you to um you know you kind of have to reposition again because it doesn't 
it doesn't understand that you're still trying to um, keep adding the same element, the same distance from one another. So you kind of have to eyeball it again, and then you can go back and keep, you know, adding like so. But because we eyeball, so it's possible that our elements are not, um, at least the, the one that we added later on is not the equidistant. So just to be sure, I want to select them again, go to position, click tidy up again, and boom, they're all tidied up. So this is, these are the two ways um, that you can tidy up your elements, basically, where all of the elements, all of the same elements are equidistant from one another. And it comes in handy when I'm making worksheets, and I create worksheets a lot. So I sell Canva templates, and one of the most popular types of templates that I sell happen to be worksheets. And I often create checklists and, um, you know, ruled um, sheets, for example. And it comes really handy um, to use that tidy up button under position. So once again, to tidy up, select all of your elements, go to position, and then find tidy up under space evenly. And you can do this for everything, not just line elements. So for example, if I add like a square, for example, like I was saying, I do a lot of checklists. So sometimes I do like checklists like that. So let's say that this is a checkbox. And then I need to create more of these. And I can keep doing the same over and over, like so. And if by mistake I click somewhere else, then I'll just have to eyeball once again. And here's another thing. The third option, kind of, that sometimes shows up, other times don't. So for, for example, when I, we were doing the line element, this didn't show up. But for the square or the rectangular element, it's showing up. So when you keep changing, it kind of shows you what the distance is between each of these elements. So 0.24 as it's showing right now. So that's another way to kind of, even when you're eyeballing it, um, that guide kind of guides you to create equidistant elements, like so. And then you can keep adding over and over. So there are two, actually three ways that you can um, kind of make sure that all of your elements are equidistant from one another. The third option, like I was saying, um, the, the one where it kind of shows you, it guides you, Canva automatically tells you how, how far apart they are. It doesn't always show up for all the elements, but for some of them, it shows up. But even if it didn't, you could use the same method. So for example, let's say that I delete one of these. And then I want to make sure that all of these are equidistant from one another. So I'll select them again, go to position, click tidy up, and boom, they're tidied up again. So yeah, that's how you make sure to evenly space similar elements from one another um, using either the tidy up button or just clicking the duplicate button over and over without clicking anywhere else in your design. Um, and the third option, which shows up for some of them, for others they don't, um, it's where Canva kind of guides you, tells you how far apart they are, um, and you can kind of position your elements according to that. Hopefully this will make your design process go faster from now on if you use this uh, tidy up method. And yeah, that's it for today, and I will see you soon with a different video. Bye!